Well, I am finally out in the garage ready to start building. It's been another couple of days since I sat down and drew up some like rough plans. Plans have roughly changed since um, I last talked to you. So I had drawn up on um, graph paper just like a rough sketch of a box rabbit cage that was going to go into my shed. However, uh, it is like over 80 degrees <laughs> and it wasn't supposed to be like that until maybe June is what I was expecting so my rabbits are very hot in the shed and my dad gave me this um, to be able to make some rabbit cages out of um, and I'm thinking that maybe that should take priority over building the chicken coop. Because the chickens would be fine in there for a little bit longer. In the shed for a little bit longer if the rabbits were out. Mm. Yeah. So I am for sure at least going to be making one rabbit cage tonight. And then reassessing on if I need to build the chicken coop next or build another rabbit cage. I have two and a half weeks until we have babies. So I have that long <laughs> before I need to build another nesting box and um, make sure that the rabbits are in the cages that they need to be. Anyways, we have a hefty supply of wood a hundred feet of chicken wire, I should be able to make something work. So this is the progress that I've made in the last half an hour, I think. I nearly sprained my wrist. Don't even know how that happened, but it still really hurts. I was just screwing in a screw, and it's killing me. So this box is already screwed together. This box is just waiting there. I needed to make sure that the boards were situated right. Um, these are going to be the short sides of the box. The length or the, the height of the box will be 24 inches. Um, the depth will be 26 inches and the length will be 5 feet. Alright, it's now 10 o'clock and this is, what, this is what I've got. So my, my plan is to, my plan was to completely finish a rabbit tractor tonight but I would like to at least have all of the pieces cut for the frame is my plan so that's what I'm working on right now um, I'm trying to use the least amount of wood as I possibly can have the least amount of waste so um, that's why like some pieces are kind of all over the place because I'm trying to make the most of the cuts of wood that I have so this is the narrow sides. These are the boards that will make the long sides. Before I attach those, I want to get all of the supports cut. So I have 16 of these. 
to cut. So these are seven inches long, and then I just ang like did a 45 degree angle cut on on these. They're seven inches long because I had a leftover piece that was 14 inches long, and I cut that in half. So I'm I need 16 of these, and I'm going to try not to break into another eight foot piece. Is my goal. Okay, 10:22, and now I think. Oh, I am done cutting. So hopefully the neighbors aren't too mad. 1020 is not too terribly late. I just finished cutting all of those support pieces. Um, so we have that. And then these are the long sides. The top boards are right there. Oops, sorry. Right there. And then this is my waist. So that is all of the pieces that are not really usable for another project um, and will probably just get burned. Um, these pieces are uh, big enough to use for another project, so I'll hold on to these, but th this is all that I have left um, of the pieces that I had set aside for for this rabbit tractor. So I'm pretty proud of myself. That's not a whole lot of waste. That's probably four and a half feet of board that I can is long enough pieces that I can use um, in the next tractor. So I'm feeling pretty happy about that. I am going to now pre-drill holes and everything. Good morning, friends. Uh, it is the next day because at nearly 11 o'clock last night was when I actually finished cutting everything and pre-drilling holes. And after doing the cross braces for um, the short sides, uh, I did not have it in me to continue. I wanted to go to bed. So today, um, this morning I got up early and, um, I'm going to try and get the frame all put together before the day gets hectic and then hopefully come back tonight and put the wire on and the tin on before it gets too late tonight. So that is the goal for this morning and... This is what it's looking like right now. So, I'll come back and um, film another clip. I'll come back and film another clip of me 
finished with what I'm going to do this morning. And then hopefully by tonight I will have a completed rabbit tractor. I have my last brace piece that I have um, for this frame. And I wanted to show you what I've been doing to save me a little bit of work. Um, my wrists and grip strength are not very strong, and I know that's the case for a lot of people. Um, this tip right here helps a lot. So pre-drilling your holes so that you don't have to push down or at an angle um, to screw something in um, with the... Sorry. Downside of filming during the day with the garage door open is there's a lot of trucks going by our house all day. Um, okay, so um, instead of just like powering through with the, um, I want to say hammer drill, but I, I don't think that's the electric screwdriver. Um, instead of just powering through, Pre-drilling holes makes it a lot easier, but also if you have the opportunity to, before you put the two boards together, um, to start your screws in your wood, it is so helpful, and it takes way less strength um, to make that work. So this has saved me from stripping a lot of screws, from hurting myself, all that jazz. So I just pre-drilled all of these holes last night and then this morning went through and put all of the screws into the holes just enough so that it's not poking through right there it's just barely like in there enough so that it's not going to um, slip out when I put pressure on it and then that will make it easier to hold the board at the angle that I need to and screw it in at the same time all right, so I'm working on putting the cage wire on now, and I'm a little bit disappointed that this staple gun that I have is not going to be adequate enough, at least for the bottom. It might be for the sides, because um, that's just chicken wire, and the that's like hardly any metal to fasten. Um, okay, so you can see here... Um, there's just a nail nailed in on this side and then um, bent over. And I've been um, uh, flip-flopping so that there, the cage wire is um, bent over in multiple ways. So that if there's any movement, they're not all going to like slide out this way and pop off. So, for instance, like this... One right here is nailed in on this side and bent over this way. And then over here, it's nailed in on this side and bent over that way. So if the cage wire moves either direction, it's not going to just pop off. So I have one side done, and now I have all that to go. Okay, I think I'm going to have to call it quits for now because I'd like the next step to be putting on the roof um, before I put on the sides. That way I can flip the box every which way to put the chicken wire on the sides um, without, the, without the structure leaning. Because um, the, the cage wire on the bottom uh, keeps the bottom straight without needing any cross braces. And I, did, I, I didn't say this already, but I don't want to put any cross braces on the bottom there because the rabbits will just chew them up. Um, and um, I don't really want to deal with that. <laughs> so uh, I'm just using the cage wire to keep this, uh, the bottom square. And then the top will be kept square by the lid, um, which is going to have tin on it. And I just put the, uh, the top together. Um, this is just a box and then um, I was when I was putting the hinges on I realized that because there's only one screw holding that these pieces together they were twisting and so I just used one of the scrap uh, corner pieces from making all of the braces for the rest of it um, stuck one screw in there and that has kept um, these flush 
for the meantime. Um, they won't be necessary in the future because the tin will be on there, but um, at least for while I'm messing with it um, until tonight, that will be helpful. Um, I had some leftover door hinges from, honestly, I don't remember which project I have leftover door hinges from, um, but I have a bunch of them. <laughs> so I just used two of those um, to make this top open. So that is how I will get the food and water for the rabbits taken care of. And, um, yeah. Um, eventually I will probably add something to this door to prop it up for me. Um, cause I don't particularly want it to open up all the way and, and potentially mess up those hinges, um, or the, the wood structure of the door. So I just don't want that, um, um, I don't want that to, to ruin it. I just finished cutting the tin and putting that on, um, on the rabbit tractor. I'm glad that I didn't film myself because I really need a grinder to cut that stuff and all I have is snips. So, um, I need to file off, um, the uneven, like, little shards from the snips, which is going to be a pain, but it's done for now, and I will try and show you, but the sun is on it, so it's not showing very well in the camera right now. It has now been one full day of all the rabbits on grass, and, um, I think so far I'm pretty happy with the design that I made. Um, I'm a little bit nervous for nighttime just because we do have quite a few raccoons and um, I do hear coyotes in the area. So, but I know, I know um, that designs like this are not totally unique um, and that most people that have rabbits do use rabbit tractors and they don't lose rabbits so I am just going to hope and pray that all of them are safe tonight since it's supposed to be really nice still and they're really enjoying the grass um, I don't want to bring them back inside and I, I would like I would like them just to stay outside you know from spring until fall. So, yep. I am pretty happy with with that right there. You can see the black rabbit in the dog kennel behind me. I just have this basket in here um, for him to hide in if he feels like he needs to. Um, it's, it should be big enough for him to hide. But that's it for this video. Thank you for tuning in if you made it this far. Power to you. <laughs> uh, I promise eventually I will get better at this and the videos will be more interesting, hopefully. Um, 100 Days of Growing Food is going to be starting May 7th. Um, I'll be posting every day on Instagram at ellie.porter.ia. And if you follow me there, you can see a lot more of what what's happening. Um, I'm trying to post on YouTube shorts and um, community posts that are on Instagram, but I'm a lot better at posting on Instagram than I am on YouTube. So go follow me there. Subscribe so that you can get notified when I post videos. Right now I'm not on a schedule. And maybe that will change, but I have no idea. So planting's coming up. Babies are coming up chicken coop build is coming up we have a lot a lot of things planned i hope to see you again soon bye